Hey guys, so I know what kinds of things you want to see. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey everybody. Well, I thought I was going to leave some reviews for you today. Well, specifically review about this uh, Royal Imperial Austrian steam engine and consist that I had been waiting some time for from Europe. I think COVID had slowed these down, but I think today maybe I just want everyone to commiserate with me when they've had a bad run of model trains get to their door. The passenger cars actually got to me a few months ago, but the steam engine didn't get here till yesterday. So, you know, I was really happy to give everything a try. Um, I actually hadn't even pulled the passenger cars out because, you know, I had nothing to pull them that looked appropriate. And I also wanted to try everything at once. The pig part of me was also giddy because I'd never ordered anything from Brawa before. I didn't know anything about this company. A lot of times it's difficult to find things out about companies like this in the United States. But after a fair amount of investigating, lo and behold, this company seemed to make trains that I really wanted. And one of the things that caught my eye was this consist because it was just cute and they offered one that had smoke. So I was just kind of curious to check it out. I like the way it looks. I kind of like this wood feel you know this this wood appearance so um yeah it, it just looked like it'd be fun looks like these little tank locomotives were used primarily within the first two decades of 1900 and i don't actually have all but one tank locomotive i kind of like bigger steam engines but <laughs> the cuteness factor of this one just overrode me so I love that this had a speaker built in with digital functions including a smoke unit I know a lot of people find smoke units kind of gimmicky, but eh, I like them, so as long as I do, I'm going to go ahead and run them. Here's a quick look at everything that this unit offers. I'm going to go ahead and run through them one by one here for you in a second. So take a quick look. Lots of interesting and fun things to hear while this thing is going around the track. And here's a quick look for you. Uh, you can see what this looks like. Um, the tank, the water tank, actually seems like it's made out of die-cast metal. That's what gives it its weight. Didn't see any traction tires on it. Um, it feels like the boiler and everything else in there is plastic. Um, so, and, uh, you know, I can see that um, it's going to have both rear and front lights. You can see the SMD LED in there. So, yeah, it's pretty nice looking. Check this out. on my fingers it looks like from maybe the wheels or something but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run through the functions for you now if you were waiting for the misery part of this just hang on a little bit longer and we'll get to that
Okay, overall, pretty fun, but here comes the misery. You may have noticed from my unboxing that there were three passenger cars. Actually, there's four. There was one I forgot to bring up and I was just too lazy to go get it, but I was only running two. Also, you may remember this part of the video. Well, yeah, the smoke unit never worked. It uh, never came on. Uh, it's not a blown smoke unit, it's just a standard smoke unit, but still, there should be something, right? Now, as far as why I'm only running two of the four passenger cars, <laughs> yeah, let's just see. I've never had a passenger car give me misery, but now I've had two. These cars have pickups on the wheels for electricity, but they don't actually have any lights on them. You have to buy that kit separately, but they do twist off the wires, so that I, I guess they're tucked out of the way. Yes, and both of these, the wires shorted, and they both started to burn through the plastic. It wasn't quite enough of a short to completely kill my unit. It started kind of wavering, but then I saw the smoke and started to smell the plastic, and <laughs> there you have it. Just not a good debut from Brawa at all. All right, but as I said, actually, Misery loves company, and <laughs> company it got because in the very same shipment, I got this unit back, um, this Pico Articulated uh, Joy Chabon um, electric locomotive, and this actually came back from repair. I had actually received this unit uh, back in January, but had to send it back because one of the two sets of pickups didn't work. One side worked fine, but the other didn't. But the problem is, is sometimes on points, uh, you know, there wouldn't be enough pickup in order for it to keep running, so it would just stop. So I had to send it back, and yes, I had to wait almost an entire year for this thing to get back to me. And I finally got it back, so I thought I'd do a cool unboxing video, even though I had already actually unboxed this before. And <laughs> it, it just didn't work out. So I'm finding all kinds of problems on the same day. So I set this down, put it to run on the track, and within two revolutions of my oval, this happened. Yes, that's right. An entire drive rod assembly came off, and I kind of heard it, but I didn't quite see where it happened, and I looked for an hour, and I got to the point where I got frustrated, and actually, since my mother was here, I had her come and help me, and after about 15 more minutes, I actually found it. So this is a cursed model, and it's going to have to go back again. But the misery doesn't end there. I actually also had to send for repair this Rocco Tortuga um, from the Italian State Railways. I was really looking forward to this model because I had a consist for it, but um, it took me a while to find this. This particular model had a bad decoder. The decoder just wouldn't come to life. Well, it was to life. It had a short somewhere in it. And all of the lights in this model turn on, but the sound doesn't turn on. Nothing happens. Um, it doesn't matter when I'm trying to run it in DC or DCC. Just, this model didn't work either, so I had to send it out for repairs. But it gets even worse, actually. Back in July, I also ordered this Roco diesel rail car from the Czech Republic. And uh, I was looking forward to getting this. I uh, don't have a lot of diesel rail cars, so I thought it'd be really nice to add this to my collection. And this had to go back also. I actually didn't get a real chance to try it. So I finally unboxed it and I put it on the track. And what do you know, anytime it hit any kind of curve, it would conk out. Just nothing would happen, it would just stop. Um, I cleaned the heck out of my track to see if that was the problem, and um, the wheels looked fine, and I didn't have any proper wheel cleaning solution, but I did buff them a little bit, and that didn't help either. Um, I wasn't able to actually try this locomotive when I received it at the very end of July, um, because that's when tournament season really ramps up for me, and I was really busy, and I was having to practice quite a bit, so had to leave kind of a lot of things to the side, and this um, 
diesel rail car set was one of them, but now when I tried it, it didn't work either. So I <laughs> guess in a way, um, having no archery just sort of piled up all this misery because I had to try these things that I hadn't really had a chance to try out before. And I was going to make some nice videos for you. And it just, it just never happened. So <laughs> what a bummer. Everything just really went to pot. And so all these things now are having to go back for repairs. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed your week a little bit more than I have. Uh, say goodbye to this guy, and I'll catch you soon, and I'll catch you later. Take care and stay safe.